the rapid advances of the humanity have caused severe environmental challenges. Among the many factors that pollute the environment, United Nations Environment Program investigated and calculated carefully and finally targeted the real cause of environmental pollution. To tackle the pollution caused by traffic, UNAEP convert a meeting urgently, set up a special work group, Traffic of Tomorrow, simply as TOT. TOT, in collaboration with some of the world's top research institutions, has devised some really detailed plan to minimize the damage caused by traffic in three aspects, intercity, intercontinental, and interstellar. A small step for technology, but a giant leap for mankind. with Professor Wang, head of the Intercity Project. He works on building new energy vehicles, which are truly environmentally friendly. Is it possible that we can power the vehicles with no pollutant emitted? You can improve the environment after extensive exploration. We have finally invented the world's first new energy engine, which works in solely another vehicle exhaust. This engine collects and refines the exhaust gas to power itself and leaves no harmful gas. What I can say about this major breakthrough? It's just incredible. As long as the car had emits enough exhaust gas, vehicles with this engine could be started. According to Professor Wang, this new model is to be tested in real traffic soon. You can go wherever you want, as long as you follow the other vehicles. For example, if you go to Kong Zhu Fen from Wang Jing, you can just follow the bus 696 to Wang He Chao Station. Then, follow the Yun Tong bus 201. There is, of course, another Nizar way. You can hire a taxi and drive after it to anywhere you want. With this unique way of energy intake, Professor Wang named the vehicle after a name with rich oriental connotations, Zuo. To test the stability of the vehicle, Professor Wang hires a taxi heading for Tibet alone on a 10,000 kilometers driving test under harsh road conditions. One month later, Professor Wang comes back from his trip exhausted and beat. to his office, Professor Wang is informed that William Future has withdrawn his funding from Wang's project to invest in a manufacturing plant for draw bars. 
in northern Russia, a former secret military base hidden in the mountains. It's now the lab for the TOT Intercontinental Project. Utilizing the latest electromagnetic propulsion technology on an abundant missile silo, Russian and American scientists transformed the war facilities in the Cold War era to the transportation vehicle that benefits mankind. They have created an amazing intercontinental aircraft. My grandpa was actually a member of the Missile Corps. In fact, during the horrible Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, he was actually stationed at the Atlas F missile silo. And uh, he said everyone was just on standby around the clock, just nervously on pins and needles, waiting for an order that hopefully would never come. We have transformed missiles into electromagnetic aircraft that can accommodate 150 travelers at one time. It utilizes the interaction between the electrical currents and the magnetic field in the conductive gas and jets the gas to generate strong thrust. Therefore, the aircraft no longer burns jet fuel and causes no pollution to the atmosphere. I mean, can you imagine that? Zoom! To arrive at Mach 25, 38 minutes later, at the Titan missile silo base in the USA. It's just incredible. <laughs> Before the official launch, Russia and the US are in a bitter dispute over the name of the aircraft. Discussions in Russia about the Rainbow Bridge have caused great dissatisfaction among American citizens. It is reported that Secretary of State has made an official statement. The Russians are barbarians. Living in their cold land, their hearts are made of steel. That's why they gave the name of Sickle Bridge to a very beautiful invention. We are very disappointed in their misconduct in the naming of this aircraft. Um repeater! Um repeater! As the dispute between the two countries keep escalating, Russian citizens have responded fiercely. All American scientists are scheduled to return to the U.S. soon and to terminate their cooperation with the Russians. Наша страна моментально приведет к готовность шахты пусковые установки и вновь загрузит ядерный боезаряд. Таким образом, вся страна будет приведена в полную боевую готовность. Unfortunately, the TOT Intercontinental Project is now indefinitely postponed. Keep your company when I'm gone, huh? In Washington, D.C., TOT is joining hands with NASA to discover an ultimate way of traveling. Thank goodness we have finally created a wormhole. Through this new medium, people can teleport point to point and it will not impact the environment. But more importantly, this will accelerate the outward of the interstellar travel. This is the real sense of the traffic of tomorrow. We are teleporting a rooster called Armstrong 2. Before the wormhole teleport, we trained it for six months in a zero-gravity environment. <laughs> on one end, we have the TOT lab, and on the other end of the wormhole, we have the moon surface. And given the instability of the wormhole space, we have calculated the whole travel to take 22.46 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 
If this works, it will be the ultimate environmental friendly travel option of mankind. Look! Look! The TOT Interstellar project was declared failure at last. Nerd. Due to a string of failures of the TOT projects, people are losing faith in eliminating pollution via scientific approaches. The traffic order is becoming more and more disordered and the environmental pollution is becoming more and more serious. However, a philosopher shows up and brings hope. Zhongzuo周知,科学的极致是哲学,用科学无法解决的问题,只是哲学思维里的一粒沙,在哲学领域里, 有三个亘古不变的终极问题，也是和人类出行密不可分的三个问题。你是谁？你从哪里来？你到哪里去？Guided by Huang Guosheng, the philosopher, the TOT work group overturned their direction of research. William Future believed that this young man would change the history of mankind. TOT just makes some slight changes in people's right healing apps. It completely changed man's way of traveling. Every time people go out and open that app, they will begin to meditate upon the three questions. 你是谁? 你从哪里来? 你到哪里去? In this prerequisite, criticism and challenge, the rational thinking of man has reached its maximum. Philosophy has led mankind to a place where science has no clue of. Long lost in deep thought. People no longer go out. The so-called chief culprit of environmental pollution has thus been nipped in the bud.
你是谁？你从哪里来？你到哪里去？